Hi, beauties and curls. It is Melissa Q. Welcome back. If you are new, I just want to welcome you to all the new subscribers here. Thanks so much for hitting that button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. It's going to let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I hope you guys enjoy yourselves. If you're an OG, thanks so much for hanging in with a sister. On this channel, you're going to find innovative content like project pans and natural hair videos and decluttering videos. I am a lifestyle channel, and so I just want to be well-rounded. So if you find something here on the channel that you are tuned into, definitely let me know down in the comments. I want to deliver to you guys. I have my one month, one palette and pan that palette. This is update number. I have no idea, but I would put it here. Yes, I can't remember if I'm on update five. You know, November is when I started. So November, December, January, February. So this is probably like update four or five. I cannot remember, to be honest with you guys. Yeah, but we have some progress and I'm so excited. We usually pick a palette. Now, uh, because it's Black History Month, you guys, one month, one palette. I have been using this palette, the Sahara palette, and I love it. Now, I know I was supposed to be using the Lorac Pro palette, but I totally forgot because it is Black History Month. I do have some more content that's going to be coming up, and I have been using the Sahara palette and it has been amazing i've also been using the masquerade palette let me get that for you now, i've been using more of this palette than the masquerade palette you are i am gonna come with a tutorial at some point with this one for spring i've already filmed it i just need to edit it and get it up for you guys but this is like my pop of color this i will not be parting with i am going to be doing a declutter video soon um declutter videos more like it but that'll be coming in march for spring cleaning but this i love because you have your neutrals and your pops of color so this is amazing and then the sahara palette now i only have these two palettes but i want more is that a bad thing to say? But um, because these are crazy insane pigmented, I probably want to get something from Color Rain. I do support my black businesses and especially when they just deliver. It's not only that they're black, a, bit, a black business, but they're a good black business. You know what I mean? And um, just like their other bad businesses, there are other bad businesses everywhere. But we are going to support the good ones on here. But I have been rocking this and I love this madagascar is my jam this color right here in the crease life and i like zuri i like sheba i've used have i used nefertiti nefertiti have i used nefertiti i don't think so but i have be i have used madagascar morocco zuri and sheba and yeah yes love these so I've been using these two. Um, that was in my everyday makeup drawer. I kind of switched out. And to be honest with you, these are the two that I have been using. And I'm going to continue to use these until the end of February because you'll see a tutorial going up, you know, celebrating my black businesses and collaborations here. So let's go into selecting a new palette. But this TARDIS Pro, I have used it. I love the fact that it has a mirror. And um, you're going to see in my palettes, in my uh, in my declutter, that's going to be kind of like a theme, a reoccurring theme that you kind of see. This is definitely a palette that is one of my favorite. This is one of my favorite palettes. And it doesn't get enough love or even hype on YouTube. I don't understand that because Tarte Shadows are pretty good now. Um, it used to be hit and miss. But there, I think they have a good, really good formulation. They've figured it out. I just want them to figure out the shades, okay? And terms of foundation and everything. Find that out and you'll be good, Tarte. Okay, so let's go into, let's start off with the NYX Pro palette, the contour and highlight palette. I'm so excited. Okay, so let's go into the NYX Pro palette. I want to show you guys the la in the last updates how it looked. I was really struggling because I did not understand why I had not hit pan on the bronzer yet. And I don't understand why I still haven't hit pan on the yellow. It looks like I'm, I'm about to. I think in the next update, you'll see it. I think this is update. This may be update five, but this is the progress. And I finally hit pan here and I got some good pan. 
So um, I actually expanded the pan a little bit on the white one and next update I'm sure the yellow will be broken through. So I'm really excited about that. Now I really want to concentrate on probably this color or this is more of a bronzer. This one's kind of shimmery but it's darker. So um, I just want to need to find more ways of using this which I have been using this in my crease to warm up the um the crease area and so i think i have that down setting with these are okay but i'm using my Lorac pro because i am panning that one as well i'm not sure with these two what i'm gonna do i don't even know if i want to use this the white one is like a like very very light and popping it in the inner corner is the only thing that i feel like i can do with those but I also, I feel like I can take this and mix it with a blush and get that sheen. I'm going to be doing that probably in the spring and summer. But I'm so excited about the progress that I've made on this. I have made some progress. And I'm happy that I finally hit pan on that bronzer because I was like, I used, I felt like I used the bronzer more than I did the under eye setting stuff. But maybe I didn't. So the Lorac Pro, let's move on to that. And I have finally hit pan on taupe. Oh my goodness. One of the things I wish Lorac would do is, I know this is supposed to be simple, but I feel like people don't pick up the Lorac Pro as much is because, first of all, yes, it's an everyday palette. I really like this palette, but just to see taupe cream, like pink, LT pink, mauve, I feel like they don't have innovative names. And maybe if they had innovative names and some more innovative packaging, because this is kind of basic. No lie. I love what's on the inside. But um, yeah. But anyway, I've expanded the pan on Sable and Espresso. And finally, I have hit pan in taupe. Finally. So I have a good dip into cream. I think that's going to be my next one. And maybe even gold. So um, I'm going to show you all the updates so I'm going to show you all the updates before this progress. And uh, yeah, now this is the progress. Now I have found a different way that I could use taupe and that is using it into the hollows of my cheeks to contour. I'm really excited about that. So um, I feel like I am more excited. I feel like um, getting pan on this finally. Now the goal is to hit pan in every single every single one. I don't know how that, the black is probably going to be pretty easy. I just need to use it more. I need to use it probably for eyeliner and I could probably mix these two and use it in my brows. Uh, use this as a brow powder, but I have been like really liking the looks. This is an everyday palette. I would say this is a great everyday palette. If you don't know what to go to and you need something like to grab, you don't care about packaging, you don't care about it being innovative, but you want a good shadow, these are pretty good. This is not in my top, it's in my top five, but it's not number one for me. I kind of like was at that point where I was like, I'm moving on to the next palette. This is like getting on my nerves, but I feel like breaking through and hitting pan on another on another shade has really helped me. I feel like that the goal and I think hitting a goal or putting it in my head that I need to hit a goal has really helped me. So I think I want to hit my next goal is to hit pan in gold, cream, and then also champagne, which I definitely feel like I can do. I can do it. I can do it. I actually feel really good using up my products. So yeah, uh, that is the update. You guys let me know what you were getting through. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Pan that palette. Let me know what you're getting through. If you're going to thinking about panning a palette, if you are rotating using your products, one month, one palette is a great way to rotate and get through some products and give it some love and some use and pan that palette really allows you to like really concentrate and I highly recommend that everyone do this because it lets you know how long it'll take you to get through a shadow. I love you guys. Um, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you hadn't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!